Thanks. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Hi. I don't feel you. So I just turned 30. It's around 30 years old now. I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. I don't like getting older. I'm not good at it. I'm not aging gracefully, as they say. You know, I'm doing a lot of things now that just make me feel old. Like I listen to NPR a lot, and I enjoy it. I actually enjoy talk radio all of a sudden. I have plants in my apartment, succulents. I've actually spent my own money on succulents. And I yelled at a group of children not long ago. I'm not proud of it. But I was home, I was trying to get some work done. They're making noise outside. Ruckus. They're making ruckus. So I opened the door and I said, excuse me, could you keep it down, please? And I clasped my hand to my face because I couldn't believe how old I sounded. And then immediately realized how old this gesture made me look. Many people don't do that. They don't. Right? My body is constantly failing me now that I'm 30, all of a sudden. I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant because I haven't had a solid shit in about six months. But I refuse to give up on Domino's Pizza, okay? I have way too many pizza points to redeem. I earned those. Those are mine. Diarrhea be damned. My hair is thinning. My back's always hurting. My eyes are getting worse. I feel like one of my ribs is just floating around in my body. So. I had a cough for six weeks, and I waited six weeks to see a doctor about it. That's just irresponsible. That's bad adulting. Those succulents I mentioned earlier, they're all dead. I somehow managed to kill plants that literally take care of themselves. How am I supposed to take care of myself? <laughs> and people just tell me, you're getting older, Michael. It's just part of getting older. Yeah? Fuck you. Because <laughs> if this is what 30 feels like, I don't want to know what 60's all about. <laughs> it's a terrifying prospect. My grandfather lived into his 90s, so if there's even the slightest possibility that I might live that long, no thanks. <laughs> Absolutely not. Who would want that? Just slowly falling apart year after year? <laughs> I'm just not good at, at, at being an adult, at living, basically. <laughs> I'm 30 years old and I still use quarters to do my laundry. If that gives you any idea as to how I'm doing financially. <laughs> I'm 30 years old and I get jealous of people who can fit a couch in their apartment. <laughs> 30 years old, and my erections last for five minutes now. I used to be able to go three or four times a night. Now I need three or four days just to recover between my lives. It's not fair. I chip my tooth on a goddamn peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You laugh. That's true. And it wasn't even the chunky kind. It was smooth. Chippy smooth. That's the smoothest I've ever raised. I'm still eating peanut butter and jellies at 30. <laughs> if there's an age cutoff for PB and J's, I blew right past it. <laughs> I'm not even an organ donor anymore because I can't, with a clear conscience, donate these shitty organs to put in someone else's body. Uh, some poor guy's gonna wake up with my kidney and a sudden thirst for Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I have an addiction to Tums as well. <laughs> I won't do that to him, I won't. <laughs> and I know when this decline in my health all began also. I, I lived in New York City for a number of years, and I love New York. I had a great time in New York City. But you see, the difference between New York City and everywhere else is that what I just referred to as a great time in New York City, right. everywhere else they call that a drinking problem. <laughs> school or surgery. I'm not saying you should, it's just that you could and I did. And this one night in particular, I'll never forget it. Never. Even if I live another 60 horrific goddamn years. I'm waiting for the train and I see this homeless man on the platform. He's standing really close to the edge and he bends over to a near perfect right angle, proceeds to pull down his pants and projectile shits onto the platform in front of me. It came out with such velocity, it looked like he had a horse tail of diarrhea coming out of his ass. And I see this, and I, I can't believe it. I'm in such shock, I just clasped my hand in my face. I don't even care how old the 
gesture makes me look at this point. I'm just like, <gasps> and I think, oh my god, I really want some Domino's pizza. <laughs> Thank you guys.